All right, guys, I got this uh, gentleman sent me this GBD Bell Flame Pipe Lighter to work on. So, I've never worked on a lighter like this, so I'm going to take it apart, see if I can figure out how to take it apart anyway. And, uh, See if I can get it going for this gentleman. Filler valve. Kind of a different little lighter. Let's see, where's this made at? Made in Japan. Feels like quality lighter. Feels pretty good. Alright, flint assembly. Okay. Pretty good quality lighter. Alright, well, I don't know if that bottom pops out of there or how that goes, but let's take a peek here. I could see some it held, but let's take this off first. Got a screw here. There'll be some underneath there. Okay. See what we got going here. Get my magnifiers on so I can see something here. Alright. Alright. Oh. 
Okay. Sometimes I don't have the exact tools for these. Just gotta improvise. tank out of there. Well, let's just take it apart from here at the bottom and we'll go that route. He said it had a leak in it, so. Just replace all the seals in it. Go, and we'll give it a shot and see how it works. But I gotta get it the inside out because there's a seal up on top too. Maybe the bottoms, the bottom could be. different. Never seen one like that before. Okay, cotton in the tank.
I would think that whole inside mechanism would come out of there. Let me push on this tank. I'm going to walk camera here for a minute, guys, so I can kind of there we go. It's just hard coming out. It's just a little hard coming out. Flint wheels and not even hardly clogged up, so there's no reason to even disassemble that. All right. Hello. Don't pause this, guys. All right. Back at it. Let me get that screw and just get this thing put back on here the way it should be here.
give this a little cleaning. Got a lighter here disassembled, a couple of lighters disassembled here that I've been trying to finish up for a gentleman. But got to do some soldering on the tank and been waiting for the weekend for I tackle that job. Let's go ahead and disassemble this valve assembly here. I showed you, you got these tools earlier, but I'm having these prongs break off already on them uh, for $50 tools. They're $25 a piece. I'm not too impressed with them. your own tools at some point. I might have to file this tool down so I can get it to work. There we go. 
stopper I don't know if you can see the I don't know if you can see that but here check that out see how war that is good lord that's bad shape it's gonna be an easy fix so yeah I've got a valve system right in there Looks like the assembly for the sponge assembly down in there is probably plugged up. So let me find my little tool that I got in here. For getting down in there and I'm plugging that hole. Should be a little metal, should be something. That rubber piece fitting on that. I don't know if you can see it. There's a bunch of gunk in swab here a little bit of alcohol on it see if I can get down in there and get to it Thank you. 
this out according to how that uh, went in there. Shot. Once these washers get shot on these guys, these little pressure washers or sponges, once you get, once them things get smashed up or this in here is just gone and corroded and dirty gas over a period of decades, I doubt this layer's ever been rebuilt. If it has, it's been a very, very long time ago. Let me see if I got a sponge that'll work for this. Still fairly dirty. I have a three millimeter sponge. Just so you know, uh, it looks like there's a little crevice down inside, but this sponge, it fits over. It's the same size as this here, okay? Now, there's a spring on this, along with this little plunger on the end. Now that uh, plunger on the end is gonna fit, you're just gonna have to leave it like, well, hold on here a minute, I got the wrong way, actually. It's gonna be like this. That's the way it's gonna go in there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. small end on this pointed end toward the middle plate right here that's going to be the sponge the sponge being the first thing in there all right okay now I want to go ahead and dig out this dig out this here oh boy yeah, look at that, that thing, that's a stopper, look at that, that's just freaking hard. Yep. This whole ladder wasn't going to work no matter what. Let's 
put that down along with that spring. So after I get done pulling this out of there, I'm gonna have to blow this out. Ooh. complete rebuild on this. It's amazing the different designs and ideas that people come up with to make these lighters. It's really kind of fascinating when you take them apart and you see, because you know you're you're kind of getting into the head, of, so to speak, the guy who designed this, you know, trying to figure out what he was thinking. So that cleaned out. Now I want to make sure. Yeah. small little hole in the top of that but uh, don't know if that's intentional or not but I'm not going to worry about it now I'm going to see if I got a, a washer cut that I can without having to cut another one I always cut a bunch of extra washers when I'm uh, doing these lighters, cutting various ones, because you know, you're, eventually you're going to want to, you're probably going to use it when you're fixing another lighter. frame while I'm doing this is because I gotta bring this close up to my magnifier so I can see what I'm doing.
I'm not real happy with that. That's kind of loose. That's way too big. So is that one. Looks like I might have to. here when you're doing this when you're cutting one of these you know get you a book put that on and cut you don't want a hard surface because you don't want to mess up your cutting tool edge on your cutting tool Got it out, cut you some extras. Ain't no sense of just cutting one. We'll have some put back aside and you won't have to cut another one. I'm going to have to trim this down.
just a little bit let's try this edge here yeah, that's just a little bit this might be not enough the other one's too much actually that might be good good enough that just I'm going to have to go with this one There we go. Not bad. That'll work. Concerned about is uh, there had to be an O ring on this, otherwise, there have had to been some type of an O ring on that to seal that off. So I'm gonna see what I got. The guy thing I think's thin enough. I think this three by six eight. I think this will work. We gotta have something around that to seal the gas from coming out that top. At least I'm a thinking so. should do I should seal that down seal right in there so actually this top part is actually done all right this on you got to make sure the hole is facing out though
best way to keep that pipe thing straight too is just put this back on. This will make sure that the uh, put this back on. This will make sure that that hole stays out front. parts rebuilt. Alright. Now I have to get a sponge cut. Or a replacement. There's what I use guys to rebuild that. It's three millimeter by 0.68 cord size, 70 duro. Okay. Then it was two and a half millimeter cut on the stopper. You probably want about a millimeter and a half in thickness to put in there. You want that little stopper that I cut just to protrude out just a little bit, you know, from the metal or at least be at the same uh, depth as the metal. Not very far, just a little bit, just a little bit hanging out or flush. Okay. Uh, okay. I gotta see if I can find a sponge here. I might have one already cut. sponges I took out, you notice that they don't have no holes on them. They ain't got a hole in the center, guys. That's going to cause you trouble. Just remember that. It'll eventually plug up that, you know, that valve hole and orifice, and the next thing you know, it won't, it won't let any gas through. That's why these ones here we got with, uh, That's why I like using them. All right. Let's see how much, what's the size difference here. Yeah, we got to cut that down to three millimeter. Centered, 
that whole bit will work. sponge down in there, take a toothpick and actually let me get one of these cut off and smash it out, push it down in there. Okay, let me see, yep, we're good. We're good. this down in there. This little plate here smashes on the sponge to cut off the uh, cut off the gas flow. That's good. Now, got to go with uh, this. Okay. I actually need to put this. Bring in there first. Might I won't have to have this so I can see. That's good. Now let's put this little burger down in there. chance of dropping that in there and that thing fitting right down in there like it should. Huh. And that's something. Alright. Now got this here little backer plate here. That there looks like that fits down there good enough. If it leaks out that hole, then you'll know why. It's because that seal's not right. I think we're good though. This is also uh, how you, far you need to tighten this down. This kind of depends on uh, your flame height, okay? That's what regulates your flame height. but I'll get it figured out here. 
to get it back together. I'll have to pause the video and go get some butane and get it fixed up. Okay, this is your flame adjustment. You see this? This little dimple on the back of here? Well, that goes down inside that hole that's in there. It pushes on that little rubber stopper piece in there, which puts pressure on your uh, spring, but I'm not gonna put that back in until I adjust. When you adjust these guys, this part in here, you always wanna adjust it to the maximum flame. Then this here will go from the maximum down to the minimum. So, anyway, keep that in mind. All right, now I wanna get this here. Oop. Put it back on. Let's give that a little cleaning. It's got a little, uh, got a little garbage on here. attention to this goes up on that side <sighs> nice quality little lighter yeah, I can feel the Japanese quality in it Japanese are building vintage lighters or quality. Now yeah, listen, when you you gotta make sure that that okay that little piece right there you wanna have to go down in there. You'll see what I'm telling you. That little metal plate on there. Just a second here. I don't got that wrong myself. No, I don't. Just like that. Because you're here, yeah. That's got to fit down in there. Getting these things back together can be somewhat of a headache. You know, while I got that off, I might as well clean that wheel. Get this out of there. Might as well just make sure. I mean, it don't look like it's been got a lot of flint and dust in there or anything, but it ain't gonna hurt since it's out. Just to go ahead and give it a clean. I don't think that lighter's probably seen as much use. It's been one of the wires that quit working has been sitting around for a few decades. All right, let me figure when I, that wheel is going to be turned around this way. So this thing wants to turn the wheel this way. Oh, we're good right there. That's what we want.
just like that. See that little notch? See that little notch on the end of this spring? That's got to go up in a little slot right there. All right. That's what holds that in place. And then it's not easy to put in there once it comes out. That's why I hate taking these assemblies apart if they're if they're good, but you know. Okay, so we got that. We got that there like uh, uh I'm gonna have, okay, I'm gonna have to put my I'm gonna have to put the screw through there to hold that until I get that thing ready to put together. Where's my toothpick at? Let's just use it for now. Hold that in there. There we go. All right, now. I'm going to put that on there like that. Install the screw, the small one. Which is right here. I'm gonna install that in while we're doing that spring. Okay, nope, wrong side. Can't wrong side. Let's do it this way. Sometimes it's like trial and error how to get something put back together if you never if you've never uh, did it before. Especially when you got big freaking thumbs. And little bitty parts. Big thumbs and little parts. Yeah, you'll have that. Okay. Now, you need to take that out. Put that sleeve in here. Make sure that's out. Yeah, that's in there, right? 
Okay. All right. You got to kind of, I think what you got to do now, let's just set this down like that for a minute. Put that back on there. Make sure that's up there like that, okay? I think that's kind of a guide for this, uh, this right here. Fits inside the body of the guide that played down there. All right. All right. Now, what we want to do is put that on there. which is which is on there and you want to come down here and uh, put that in let's see if it screws in yep all right well I got something wrong Keep that little bitty springy thing right down there toward the. That's what works at. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to stick a flint in there. I'm going to put one of my flints in there because I like them. Yeah, we'll stick that in there and put that back and just get that started. Yeah, just snug it down. Don't don't screw it down. You know, anything, you take a fingernail, tighten it down. You don't need it any tighter than that, that spring's gonna hold it in. All right, there we go. We're good there. All right. Now, why I got that done, I'm going to have to do the filler valve. I'm going to put a new O-ring on this filler valve. That one might be good, but folks, I've done this before, thinking the O-rings were good, taking them off, or not replacing them, and end up the guy sending the lighter back and I had to repair it, because it turns out it wasn't good after all, okay? So, well, whenever you you do it, just, just take it apart and replace it, and be done with it. That way, uh, ought to be good for years to come. I'm thinking that'll work. Let me see here. Yeah, that'll work. There's a size right there on that. All right, this is a 90 Duro, too. That means that it's a little bit, uh, um, it's not as pliable. As a 70. A little bit harder, so to speak. And these harder O rings, folks, these harder O rings don't spread as much, okay, as the 70s. So when you're putting one on, you want to make sure you don't have to spread it too much. There we go. That looks like that's going to fit right in there perfectly. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, I guess we got to take this apart. Let me see here. Well, let's 
let's use this. There we go. This is under spring pressure, so gotta be careful. I don't want to have that thing fly halfway across the room here. All right. Well, there we go on that. I've never seen I've never seen a filter valve like that, guys. I've never seen a filler valve like that. I just wonder if I got an O-ring to fix that with. Let me stick this back in there for a moment and see how that works. Okay, I think I can get an O-ring to do the job. I don't know if you can see that. But you see how that is? Let's see. That's got like a taper on it a little bit. Maybe you can see it. You got taper on that O-ring. All right. Now, I don't have anything like that. But, you know what? I'm just gonna put that back together and use it because that's an oddball freaking O-ring if I've ever seen one. And I'll put that back together and uh, I'll test it when I get some butane. And if it's not leaking, I'm going to leave it like that. But if it is leaking, then I, got, I, I don't have a choice. I have to fix it. But for right now, just put it back together. If I can. Just a second here. There we go. Let's see here. Tighten that up a little bit. Okay. That actually feels like it's going to work. So. Uh, always got like to put a little bit of grease, silicone grease around that O-ring. Don't probably never need it, but you know, I just like to do it. All you gotta do is just put it enough where it just looks like it's shiny, all right? And uh, also, I wanna also I'd like to take a little bit of alcohol and cotton swab and just clean this channel out where this o ring is gonna set. You can see a little bit of dirt on there. That way, if there's a small little particle sitting there or something, 
Go get it out. All right. Uh, you know that I ran out of the video space when I was putting in that uh, filler valve on this bell flame pipe lighter. Uh, so I'll splice this video together. Um, what I end up doing, you'll see in the earlier video how I installed this, but after I put everything back together and put gas in it, I had a leak around this flame adjustment valve. So I end up taking it apart and putting an O-ring around this. Uh, I set my internal uh, adjustments for high flame, then when I put this down in, then I can adjust it for a smaller flame. Now I had to take a pair of tweezers like uh, you know, like this here to get in here and adjust this. And it is tight, but it will adjust accordingly the way it's needed. Okay, uh, okay, this is still hasn't lost hasn't lost anything for, oh, I don't know, for at least a day, hasn't lost any gas, so we're good to go on this. Another note too is, is that when you take this apart, this lighter apart, this, you know, I, I took it apart uh, earlier in the video, but I didn't know how to take it apart. Well, the insides here, this should just push right out, you see, all right. All right. Now, um, also, too, uh, I had the little metal piece, the little spring. The little spring earlier, I said, just hooks to the back here. Well, it's not, it's, it's not, uh, uh, here's the best way, guys, to disassemble this, okay? What you want to do is, like, if you need to, you're going to have to, if you need to rebuild this, you're going to have to take this little lever out. Best way to do that is to just un undo this screw right here. All right. Now you're gonna have to get some wire cutters to pull that out with, okay. All right, now, all right. Now you can see this here I would just tape this in so this assembly doesn't come out, okay? Once this little internal pin comes out of there, the whole uh, flint roller spring assembly will come out. But I think you can possibly see that all the back spring and this other spring mechanism right here, okay, goes through this screw. So when you're putting this back on, I'm gonna hold on here, putting this back on. Well, I need to take out the uh, flint spring. So I end up, I haven't changed too much other than, you know, just a few tricks to get it put back together. When you take them springs off in the back, folks, you're going to have to take, you're going to have to install them in, you're going to have to install them like they are now. Then you're going to have to put this assembly down and back in then put your screw in. You always got to ins uh, install the two springs and, and everything on this pin, screw it in, then install this last, okay? So right here. This is a nice little pipe lighter, to be honest with you, folks. It probably holds, I think it holds, uh, what was I thinking here? About three grams, somewhere around there. So, it's got a, it's got a decent, it's got a decent enough volume for it. For, you know, like a I Am Corona, uh, old boy holds about like three grams, a little over, I believe it is. Yeah, I'm not hitting a hole here. Hold on. I think I'm good now. There we go.
put a foot in there. This is a nice little pipe lighter. It's it's not bad. It's not bad to work on. Just make sure you're taking the bottom valve assembly out here that you pay attention to how it comes out. And it's easy to unplug the uh, it's easy to unplug the top part here, okay. Now this one has a hole on top. I think that could possibly be normal so it catches fire or flame here on the top. And this one kind of lights this part right here, okay. I'll show you what I mean as far as flame adjustment. There's more flame than you'll ever need on your pipe right there. Okay. And that seal is still tight on that bottom flame adjustment valve. All right. Then when you get done, you just stick it back in your lighter right here. Good to go. I'll adjust it up a little higher. Anyway, guys, this is a nice, handy little pipe lighter for those. Just want something like that, you know, put it over your pipe and light it. GPD belt flame pipe lighter and in this nice little case. Uh, also too when I uh, fill that lighter up let me let me get the uh, filler adapter that I use which I just dropped on the floor here this is the one I use for right here. Alright. I'm actually going to stick that right in the case. Alright, Alan. Good to go. Also, too, when you let go of this, because that's got gas on top coming out, sometimes the flame will stay right. It'll stay in there just for a little bit and then go out. Good to go. GBD Bell Flame Pipe Lighter. Pretty nice.